Arthagast Ulbrinter is dead. What? Yeah. I, I, I fall out of my chair. Yeah. <laughs> Arthagast. No. But I just saw him. Yeah. He was so full of life. <laughs> Not only that, but his villa was sacked by masked heathens in the night. That's the way he wanted to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and she basically makes a plea to, for the council to act swiftly to catch these masked heathens before they escape the city. In addition, she has another request, that she be granted permission to conduct her own investigation into her husband's death, thereby saving the council time and money. Denied! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not there. <laughs> I stand, and um, I, I go on one knee, and I take her hand, but in my hand is a card for Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> That's smooth. So smooth. smooth, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then um, uh, <laughs> I tell her that that's super bad, and I'm sorry about all that. And then <laughs> I go back to my chair. All right. She tucks the card into her bosom. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you head out, and you go looking for your buds, Jim and Benwin. And when yep. you find them, they're out in the market, and they're watching a puppet show put on by two halflings. And these two halflings with their puppets seem to be chronicling the fall of the Tarrasque. <laughs> Is oh, it nice. accurate? I, I take careful notes. I want to make sure that specifically my involvement um, is, is rendered um, with historical accuracy. Well, um, your puppet just looks like a sock with no hair. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, uh, nailed it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> An arrow lances forth and sticks in Binwin's helmet. Thunk. Do I notice it? <laughs> <laughs> How good is this puppet show? Yes. You feel something thunk against the back of your head. I look at Jim and I go, that happens. <laughs> I run for the alley. I say, Jim. And then as I'm going, I slap the back of Binwin's helmet. Uh, sort of in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Never right. a please with this guy. Are yeah. we worrying about the two arrows is pay attention. One arrow, we're going to worry. Okay. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> but to, so do I know that she shot at me? Yeah, cl clearly she's the one carrying the bow. Yeah, right. I just got a quiver of arrows so. that yeah. look just like the arrow that's now stuck in your Can I get that back, actually? <laughs> <laughs> I chuck a javelin at her. <laughs> what? So well, he pulls out his javelin. Whoa, 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 then, whoa. He uh, holds it back, and I just hold the back of it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, she, she's the uh, new intern that you brought from Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, she just got here. Oh, yeah. you, rec you recognize her? Yeah. yeah. Do we know about this? Nope. I, I, Does he tell you surprise. anything? You, you, you A did, new hire? You did not show up to the meeting. You were supposed to take no, the minutes, true. and you were supposed to bring Chris Hall. <laughs> <laughs> so when he reaches his, through his hand forward, yeah. there is no javelin with it. All right. And I'm like, whoa. I say, can't even see where it went. Can't even see where it went. That's incredible. I lost it in the sun. And he, uh, the halfling standing next to Morgane says, uh, perhaps I should introduce myself. If you want. He says, uh, my name's Vandal. Okay. okay. We're starting off great. What do you mean? Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah, see. My name. Right. It's one of those double entendre things. I think it's a single entendre. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so. So uh, why are you still in your master uh, costume? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pull it off, but it's like I try to do it so that it's like totally cool, like totally smooth, but then it gets caught on my ear and I'm like, ah. <laughs> hey, right. hey, and then I kind of like go up against the wall, sort of like. And then I'm like, holy shit, Omen's here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. There's always, every adventure, there's some asshole halfling yeah. we got to deal with. He says, I assure you, I have nothing but the highest respect for you, Binwin. You are a god. <laughs> every adventure, there's an awesome halfling. <laughs> Let's just say, Morgan and I are here because we got a real problem. And you know, uh, I heard of Oscarandra. Well, she was a bronze dragon, see? And now, oh. I'm now here's some, some more exposition for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. 
But first, before I forget, you better give him the note. My dear Lord Drawn, I pray this letter finds you in good spirits. However, I must report that Lord Older Ravenguard of Baldur's Gate has not shown us much kindness and has our chapter house surrounded by guards night and day. Uh-oh. <laughs> it seems Lord Ravenguard takes offense to our presence, yet I know not why. <laughs> He has declined to speak to any member of our faction. I'm told he will have words with you and you alone. I bid you join us in Baldur's Gate and look forward to news of your arrival. Your humble servant, Jeff. <laughs> well, listen, that's, that's the risk these franchisees take when they, they open up. They signed those rights right. away. It was on the form. Exactly. They paid, they, they paid their gold. Yeah. They, got their, they got an opportunity to use the logo for a period of six months. Right. Mm-hmm. Very um, generous, if you ask me. Oh, yes, exactly right. I mean, this is if, how I if feel. If your Subway franchise gets surrounded, you know... By Lord Raven Guards. Right. Uh, it's not the corporate Subway's problem. No, it's, no, no. The guy no. from the commercials doesn't come down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't come well, down. He doesn't Jared, come down. Jared, Jared doesn't, doesn't show up. He doesn't come down with his big pants. Oh, his pants out. No. <laughs> yeah. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> anyway, this uh, dragon, this bronze dragon, she got killed by two mated green dragons named Tynezek and Thrillian. Okay. They took her dragon eggs. My worst fear, Tynezek and Thrillian are going to raise these dragons to be evil. Yeah. We can't have that. On your resume, you yes. mentioned dragon experience. Oh, did I? Did I also write down PowerPoint? <laughs> <laughs> Keep right. I, I, it was on there, but I did not know what it meant. <laughs> um, I thought uh, it was a spell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, that sounds good. Yeah. Yes, PowerPoint. I like it. How much damage? <laughs> I need to learn that one. Yeah, exactly. So. I happen to know that Tanazek and Thrillian have taken up Lair in a ruined castle, and it happens to be on the way to Baldur's Gate, which is why I'm here. Because I figure if you're going to go there anyway, what the hell? Might as well fight a couple dragons. Why do you care if oh, this dragon is side. raised evil? Because you don't want four bronze dragons being raised as evil dragons. That's only going to be a problem. <laughs> I mean, don't you want them raised right? Really? I have yeah. every confidence that in your care, they will be raised right. Yeah, I think he's right. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I, I look up. What are we looking at? The Hallister statue. We got a sneak in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the statue is now just this sort of dark splot against the dark sky. I climb in its butt. All right. <laughs> Always the pioneer. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> while, while he's sitting there, uh, I'm just going to focus on him for a minute. I'm going to use... Um, Detect uh, thoughts. Okay. I just kind of want to figure out what he's thinking. This statue is so awesome. I can't wait to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, and, he said, and he's thinking, Jim Dark Match is so awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this guy. Jim, Jim, uh, uh, Bobim, <laughs> Banana, Fana, Fofim, V5, Fofim. Jim! <laughs> he's got a lot going on in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's just rocks, He's having jangling. himself a grand old time. Yeah, exactly. Let's All just right. let him enjoy himself for now. Bin win, bin win, bow win, 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 win. All right, turn, I turn off this spell. Bin win. Okay. Yeah. Okay, as Activate you sort of look out through the magic window or the magic eyes, you can see that it's so dark in the city tonight that you can't see any of the buildings down below you. Uh, see a flaw in our plan. Well, my gem lights up, though, right, in my mm-hmm. hand? Yes, it fires a beam of concentrated destructive energy, too. <laughs> Which illuminates the area around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, and it clears yeah, it at the same time. No, like this, man. Yeah, yeah, like a flare, right? Like I just go, bam, straight up into the sky. All Dragon. right. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure over. Right. All right. Over the skies of Waterdeep, a piercing green beam fires into the night sky. And you can't hear any screaming, so it's perfectly fine. Probably okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to light it up, see what's down there? Some okay. more. <laughs> Hold on, what's... Oh, no! Whoa. <laughs> Once you get started, right? All right, make one more check. Those orphans didn't have any parents anyway. No. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but there's about 300 yards ahead of you this small campsite. It comes under attack by some brigands who, like, surround the camp. And all of a sudden, these two big footprints just yes. flatten the brigands into the <laughs> dust. <clears throat> oh, man, you're like... Carry back with this incorporated pamphlets. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You come to your first bridge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Halfway yeah. across the bridge, you guys start to wobble and teeter. <laughs> now I'd like the two arm guys to try to flap their arms. <laughs> Good enough. Tens, right? Yeah. yeah. The flapping arms keep you guys from falling nice over. Nicely done, nicely done. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Was... I shouldn't say anything. You should have broken out the giant umbrella. No, was... Was my beam still on? <laughs> 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 Just lay no. waste to half the countryside. And you end up approaching about midday off to the, your left, the large town of Daggerford, which is a walled, fortified town perched on a hill. Exactly I right. might owe money in Daggerford. Just how much? Why? I got debts all up and down the Sword Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The commander of the watch, a, a human woman named Sherlyn Miller, she says, Vandal. And the halfling says, Captain, let me present to you the CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated, Omen Dran, my good friend Morgane, the amazing wizard Jim Black Magic, and the awesome, awesome Binwin Bronzebottom. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. And he says, I told her you were coming. Okay. You didn't pick up any of that with your magical brain juice? You didn't figure that out? <laughs> he was singing songs when I listened in. I, when you tuned in? Yeah, I tuned out pretty quick. As you're drinking it up and having a good time, you can see off in a corner, uh, Captain Miller is now off duty. She's having a drink with a, uh, an older gentleman, a little bit of gray in his beard. Uh, he's got some armor on. He looks like a, a fairly noble, respectable, gallant fellow. I actually want to ask Captain Miller about Vandal. So I'm going to take this opportunity to wander over there. Do you want me to distract the guy? So I have very low charisma. So I'm just going to go in there. And hey, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dipshit. Over here. <laughs> she just walks up and goes, distraction. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're over there and it's like you're, you're, you're sort of like practicing like the mantra, yeah. like the interpersonal mantra. Like, Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. And I'll, I'll, just, I'll just put a hand on your shoulder. It's okay. So I, I, see that she, I, I see that she's struggling. I understand what she intends to do. <laughs> and, uh, and I approach this uh, older gentleman. He, he raised a mug in my direction, right? Yes, he did. And I asked him if he would like to see a card trick. That's a good open. I was going to ask to see a nice. sword, but that no. was going to be my thing. He and I didn't notes. think that was going to really be my... <laughs> Yes, I would. Cool. So would I. <laughs> do you know anyone around here who knows no. cards? Uh, no. So I, 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 I do have a deck of cards, and, uh, and uh, I begin to show him. Uh, I begin a, to a, blow his mind. Yeah. This, it, <laughs> you can see that he's trying to pay attention. He's, he's being respectful, but he's still he keeping an eye. He's, he's not He's not fully <laughs> engrossed in your attempt to hold his attention. He is still All looking right. around. Somebody come over and intimidate him. Yeah. Hey. Pay attention to Mary! <laughs> <laughs> My friend is really cool. <laughs> Look at the cards! <laughs> I could try the sword thing. <laughs> so you, you three just go in a rotation <laughs> trying to impress <laughs> this <laughs> old man. <laughs> so that, did, that didn't seem to work so well. Eventually I just take my shirt off. <laughs> okay. Are we getting closer? Is it anything <laughs> happening? Uh, how about this? How's, how's this working? And oh I, no, I, you can thank Lady Morwen Daggerford. She, she here? Well, she's in the Ducal Keep. Is it, we're isn't not going to walk Duke through. A guy? Yes. Are you still there with your shirt off? Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, hey, wait <laughs> a second. Me. I want. I want to talk about some hierarchy stuff. <laughs> yes, Lady Morwen is his sister, and she uh, does much of the administration. Oh. There we go. She's a lady duke. <laughs> well, no, she's not the duke. Oh. She is the duke's sister, Lady Morwen Daggerford. Got it. Understood. Are, we, are you caught up? I'm on it. Do your job. So is this your card? <laughs> Does that make her a duchess? <laughs> Only if she were married if to she her were brother, married which to, she is not. If she were married to her brother, yes. It would also make her something else. Got it. <laughs> so you can see these links are completely connected. <laughs> They're not coming apart. They are not coming apart. My name is Brath Targoon. I'm, uh, I've lived in the city, or I've lived in the town all my life, and, uh, but I came here a stranger just like you. Uh, but he says, it's a beautiful night. I can walk you around the castle walls. You can sort of keep a lookout, get a lay of the land. Maybe you can ask me some questions, you know, about the town. Be happy to answer them. 
this guy is not on the level. He is. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, Acquisitions Incorporated, we have a rule, it's in the charter. You can kill one motherfucker in each town free. <laughs> free. No questions asked. No. <clears throat> if somebody comes to you, if they come to me and they're going to say, hey, you know, Morgan killed somebody, I'm going to say, well, that was her one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She kills two people. You, yeah, you, you she bring me that just one guy. Yeah, yeah. She kills two people. You Why tell are you me bothering me with this? Yeah. <laughs> you think this guy actually means you harm? Okay, so I'm gonna tell him to like wait right here. Yes. I'm gonna go inside the tavern, and just don't come back outside. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to come across this forward. I apologize. Oh no, it's totally fine. I'm just gonna get my my keys. <laughs> he says, I'll be waiting. Sweet. Cool. All right, what do you guys do when uh, she sort of wakes you up? I let him sleep your, in. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna let him sleep in. Yeah, she's, just, she's gonna go in and go you to just bed. Just go inside and go to bed, just <laughs> leave him outside. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, the dawn comes. <laughs> hey, Vandal, can you tell me about Brash the Blast? What was his name? Brass. Brass. Hey, he was at the party. <laughs> yeah, he was at the party. You don't know anything about him? Yeah, he was with some woman. Which woman? They were very cozy. Was she prettier than me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 I never met her. But yeah, he says. What kind of woman? Was she a human? Uh, she, or? she was a human woman. Okay. Uh, she wasn't prettier Those than you. the best. <laughs> Not by a long shot. Perfect. Uh, she had I some, like her more and she more had some every scars minute. on her face. Okay. Yeah, she's out of the room. She's a little then. sketchy then, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they were very cozy. Very cozy. And they were. Did uh, she look like magic or did she look like a hunter? Nah, like she hunter. looked like you. Like, I mean, not as pretty so as you. So he has a type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a type, exactly. <laughs> but she looked like a bit of rough road, you know? A bit of what? Rough road. Rough road. Oh. Wow. I'm feeling really bad for this lady now. Christopher Perkins. What? <laughs> if we meet up with them, I'm going to be her friend. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> you realize that there are figures standing inside the village square, uh, half hidden by the heavy snow that's falling. They are all dressed in black. Uh, one of the guys crits you once. Okay. And another of the guys crits you once. Okay. Oh. I got this. <laughs> you take 36 points of damage what from the, the first fuck attack. Are you talking oh, from about? the first attack. I got it. It's, uh, it's fine. I'm good. That would have killed two of me. No, no, it's fine. I might need a little healing. <laughs> <laughs> So you take uh, eight points of damage from the stinger and 24 points of damage from the poison for a total of 32. Jim's down. Uh, are there any uh, final words you want to say? <laughs> what? <laughs> a monologue, a death scene, anything? <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry. Is this your car? <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, no. And then Jim just sort of sinks into the snow and just sort of no. face plants. Jim! Thanks, buddy. You owe me ten bucks! What? Uh, Omen, you are hit once. You are slashed once for a total of six regular damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and six? Six. six. Six acid damage. Twelve okay. total. Wow, yeah. twelve. Are you okay? Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Do you want to take a sit down? <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel good. I feel good. Ben wins down. Oh. He's negative twelve down. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> to Suzanne More game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are hit uh, once with okay. a regular attack. For a... Jeez. For a total of nine do I get a, points of do damage. Do I get a death scene? <laughs> and three points of cold damage. Cool. And then cool. the second attack that hits you comes from the guy with the white hair, and he crits you. Okay. 
It could be fine, you guys. Guys, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, it's unlikely. Gonna... But could be. For 16 damage, oh. plus eight points of what? acid damage. You see the, you see the white-haired guy with the master sword take his blade and very cleanly wipe Morgane's blood off of it. Thought we had something. <laughs> <laughs> Omen. <clears throat> Omen just goes, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> he just... <laughs> you can see that... Uh, he just sort of gives a hand signal, and all of the other eight sheath their weapons. And he just watches you. Parlay. Parlay. Yeah, parlay. <laughs> parlay. <laughs> I would like to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you're talking, Vandal comes out of the tavern, and he says, OK, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> Sorry, I really had to go. Hey, what? what? Go and back he, inside. He sort of looks around. <laughs> says, I think I'm going to go back inside. Yeah. <laughs> he says, but if you need me, just shout. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I might shout when these nine guys stab me and the two wyverns <laughs> stick their stingers into me when I'm on the ground. But don't come out then. I need the opposite of a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> he says, this masked fellow says, we know where you're going, and we know what you're doing. Stay away from Dragonspear. You have no business there. If you show up there, I will gut you. Too late. I believe. <laughs> and then he sort of gives another hand sign, and uh, immediately he and the woman go to the wyverns. They saddle up. That's rad. <laughs> and totally then the wyverns uh, alight. And the other ones basically just latch onto its legs, just hanging off of it in its oh, claws that's and talons. That's pretty cool. And they that just really cool. take off. I immediately start casting Revivify. Do that thing. First, I, I give you a firm handshake that just devolves into a sobbing hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. It was so dark. Well. You all right? Our bad. I saw my nana. I was <laughs> I saw my <laughs> We are going to Dragon Spear Castle. That's happening. So why, why didn't you tell us you were a dragon? He says, ah, I didn't want to freak you out. <laughs> also, also, I thought you could take him. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you had this. <laughs> but I got this figured out, see. Yeah? If I'd we love can, to hear this. If we can get in there stealthily and time it so that one of them is away, like hunting or something like that, we can take out one and not have to worry about the other one until it comes back. And maybe we can get out of there with the eggs before the other one shows up. It all hinges on stealth. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> At some point in its illustrious history, a dragon crashed into the top of the castle and died. Why do you have a folder called poop? Let's, Let's open, open it! it. No. Open it! Open it! All right. That thing. That thing. <laughs> when you get to the main keep, you can see that there are dragon cultists conferring with a large, a huge green dragon. Uh, they seem to be in a Is very it? delicate negotiation. Like and Jenga? They, like, yeah. yeah. All right. And this dragon uh, seems to be making all kinds of demands for her loyalty and her time. Well, you two notice that there is a room behind the dragon, a collapsed throne room, and the eggs are basically tucked away behind an old throne. Now, as you're making your way toward it, the dragon just sort of stops the conversation and says, I smell something. No, <laughs> it cannot be tracked Sorry, except guys. by magical means. I know. <laughs> cannot be tracked except by magical means. Just saying, just throwing that out there. Let me continue. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's awesome. All right. Uh, what would you like to do when you get to the eggs? Portable hole. I lay right. it out. You lay it out, you put them in the hole, they all disappear inside, you fold, fold up it the back up and hole. tuck it into my pocket. All right. Front pocket. Excellent. That's, that <laughs> front pocket. <laughs> front pocket. Front pocket. Yeah. Trillian, the green dragon, you hear her say, I surrender. <laughs> <laughs>
The eggs are gone. I do not like thieves. I know who you are. I will find you. She's I will lying. find you and I will eat you. And you bolt out the rear? Yep. All right. You run right into the face of the other dragon. Oh. That's Bin where we'll stop. Quits. Yeah. Oh, until the we're in, done. Until the podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs>